Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today, we are finally going to be checking out the new Frieza and Cooler Extreme Z Area event to see what it looks like, but also find out just how hard this event actually is. Okay, so with all that said, let's pop over to the Extreme Z Area here. And uh, I'll quickly show you guys the pool of available units you can use for the event. Obviously, with every Extreme Z area you're limited to you know certain characters right so first things first you have to have int frieza fully awakened on your team as well as the agl cooler and this guy the frieza is from the full power frieza token event stage one and the cooler is from the baba shop okay so once you have those guys you can also pull from this pool right here now as you can see i don't have all of them but i have enough to build a team so uh, let's just jump in. Uh, why don't we start with the first stage on Z hard and then we'll do super and then we'll do the second stage as well And the friend they give you is the int Frieza. His leader skill is wicked bloodline key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 77% or int types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 50% and I believe out of the pool they gave us the best leader you can bring is the LR Mecha Frieza and King Cold since they give Wicked Bloodline, Q plus 3, and HP attack and defense plus 100%. Okay, so here's the team. We got the Mecha Frieza and King Cold, uh, LR Full Power Frieza, LR Metal Cooler Army, and then of course, the AGL Cooler Int Frieza, and also uh, AGL Golden Frieza. So I don't expect to really have too many issues here, but the last couple of Extreme Z areas that we've had on Global were actually like decently challenging like especially some of the free-to-play ones actually no they're all free to play uh but the uh, raditz one that we just got i died a couple times when i wasn't paying attention so i'm definitely gonna pay attention here and uh see how it goes okay so we're facing frieza here um i'm going to put the lr full power frieza in front because he has the most defense and that is at least a normal super and uh here we go guys so we're taking 92 for normal. Okay, so tanking pretty well here. And we're gonna do about half his HP in the first attack. Okay, so clearly the Z hard stage is not that bad. It, it, it's really not. So, so far so good. Man, I, I hate this animation. Like when Link Levels first came out on Global, I was super happy, right? But now, when I'm not trying to link level people, it's just super, super annoying with like all the... Okay, what they need to do is have just like one screen where all the levels for every character pops up and just have it be like one animation as opposed to separate animations for every single character. I think that one simple fix would just make everything a lot less painful and make people a lot happier, you know? And okay, look, I do have a theory about that. And what I think is that Bandai knows they could have made the system a lot more efficient, right? Just had one screen or whatever for all the link levels for every character, but they decided to do it this way because in the future they can, you know, make a change and make it faster. So they can be like, yo, check this out. We're listening to the player base. We're making positive changes to the game, all that stuff. I'm not saying that that's actually what's happening, just a theory. I'm working with okay so now this is the um super hard stage and i am expecting to take a little bit more damage here um we, we are taking more damage for sure we're definitely taking more damage but still not too bad Ooh, oh okay okay see that was that was pretty hard so it looks like Frieza is still going to be taking a good amount of damage, right? Like the uh, the enemy Frieza, that is. He's still not super tanky. So if you have some units that can hit decently hard, you should be able to nuke him in one or two turns. But he does hit much harder. His attack is much higher. So you got to be a little bit careful. Okay, I wouldn't put like your weakest or your least tanky units in front of like a bunch of attacks because you're basically asking to die. Um, and look at this man like my team is good like I have some very Good units for this event, right? Like I basically have the best available options and I'm still like 
close to death. So if I wasn't like paying as much attention to this run, I think I could have easily died, you know? So uh, be careful, guys. All right, still, still kind of tough. Still kind of tough. All right, so we're going to do the cooler stage now on the hard, same team, of course. Um, oh, by the way, my Frieza is, I believe, at 69%, the, the Int Frieza, that is, and my cooler is at 90%. I still need a few of the uh, incredible gems to get the final dupe, so that's why they seem a little bit weaker. And obviously, once they get fully extremely awakened, they'll be much more powerful. All right, so obviously on this rotation, I'm going to put the metal cooler in front of those two attacks, and then the Frieza has a little bit more defense than my cooler, so I'll leave him in the middle. Here we go. Okay, so 801k for Metal Cooler, and oh damn, okay, so that was pretty much half his HP. If we had gotten an additional super, we could have actually killed him um, first turn with the first hit, or the first, you know, couple of attacks. But uh, yeah, look at that, he's almost dead. Cooler maybe with a crit here, didn't get a crit, but yeah, we almost killed him first turn, so... Yeah, it doesn't look like this Extreme Z area, at least compared to the Raditz one, is as difficult. But I think the main reason for that is because they actually gave us some good options um, as far as units we can bring, right? When you compare it to the Raditz event, where you were very limited. Like, the units were just not good, right, from the pool you could choose. I think that's why I struggled as much as I did and died as many times as I did. Because, like, yeah, like, we just couldn't bring that many solid units so the ones we did bring were getting hit really hard but still we got through it like these extreme z areas i think are set up to you know be beaten by pretty much anybody it's just for some people especially like for the play players it might be a bit more of a struggle but at the end of the day i do think that anybody can beat these events um and if you do struggle it's not necessarily a bad thing okay because i remember when i first started this game and for the first couple of months like everything was hard you know like um, Super Strike events especially, Dokkan events, like yo, LR Broly, or not LR Broly, but Broly Dokkan event was so, so hard, man. It took me so many tries. I remember actually, I used a bunch of stones. I think it was for that event. I used a ton of stones to clear it every single time. And thinking back now, I'm like, yo, I'm so stupid, man. Why did I do that? But like back then, I just really, really wanted to awaken my Broly. And I was willing to give up a bunch of stones to, to achieve that so um, yeah obviously times are different now but I think the most fun I had with this game was in the early stages when I was dying a bunch I was trying to figure out like which teams to bring or like what rotations to employ to actually you know beat things right so if you guys are struggling right now enjoy the journey because one day you'll reach a point where um, things are not as hard and at that point it's just not as fun at least in my opinion anyways uh, there you go guys, we cleared the uh, Z hard stage for cooler as well, and we're done. I mean, obviously I still have to grind a bit more, but I'm not going to put you guys through that. I'll probably do a stream for it later on or something like that, but I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what the event looked like, how hard it was, and overall I would say um, it's not the hardest Extreme Z area we've had, but once again, the difficulty of these events really depends on the available units you're allowed to bring and since we could bring some pretty decent units for this one that made it much easier all right so there you go that is today's video guys thank you so much for watching and for anybody wondering if the frieza and cooler are worth the grind to fully extreme z awaken um they are both very good units but if they didn't have any other special uses i wouldn't necessarily say it's a huge priority but both of them are actually required for the Prime Battle LR uh, Goku's Extreme Z area event in the future. So if you guys plan to do that event in the future when it drops and EZA the Prime Battle Goku, then obviously make sure to get the Frieza and Cooler done. All right, so that is today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. 
I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.